Candidates should be able to Explain convention in liquid and gases of density changes Describe experiments to illustrate convection in liquid and air Convection Convection is the transfer of heat energy by the movement of currents within a fluid, which are liquids and gases, where the particles are free to move around. This is because the density of the fluid changes when it is heated. An experiment to demonstrate convection in water. A few crystals of potassium permanganate are placed at the bottom of a beaker of water. They dissolve and color the water near them purple. When the water is heated, the purple water rises above the Bunsen flame, moves across and then falls at the other side of the beaker before returning to the flame to be heated again. This movement of water is called a convection current. The reason why warm water rises. This is because the water is heated, its molecules gain kinetic energy and move around faster. They move further apart, and so the density of the water decreases. The warm, less dense, water rises. As the water begins to cool. Warm water rises and pushes the cooler water over. The cooler water sinks. This is because the molecules of cooler water have less kinetic energy. They move closer together, and so the density of the water increases. The cooler, more dense, water sinks. When the warm water rises, then cooler, denser water moves across to take its place. This process continues until the water is heated evenly throughout. An experiment to demonstrate convection in air. Set up the apparatus as shown in the diagram. Place a lighted candle below one of the glass tubes. Hold a smoking paper above the other glass tube. The air above the cancel flame gets hot and rises. Cooler air is then drawn from the other tube to replace the hot air. Smoke is used so that we can see how the air moves. The movement of hot and cold air set up convection current. The hot air rises. This is because the air above the candle is heated, its molecules gain kinetic energy and expands. The expanded air is less dense than the surrounding air and rise out of chimney. The cooler air sinks. This is because the molecules of cooler air have less kinetic energy, and so they are closer together. This causes the density of cooler air to be more than the hot air. Since the cooler air is denser, it sinks into chimney. Material that have trapped air in them such as cotton wool or bubble warp are good indicators, because air does not conduct heat, and trapped air cannot convection heat either. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.